the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We are aware of God's presence with us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the caring master who blesses us for our faithfulness. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be vigilant in your abiding peace. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you entrust us to be a presence to each other. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on all of us, forgive us of any of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom you taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The night of the Passover was known beforehand to our fathers, that with sure knowledge of the oaths in which they put their faith, they might have courage. Your people awaited the salvation of the just and the destruction of their foes. For when you punished your adversaries, in this you glorified us whom you had summoned. For in secret the holy children of the good were offering sacrifice and putting into effect with one accord the divine institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. 
Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and maker is God. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age, and Sarah herself was sterile. For he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the skies, and as countless as the sands of the seashore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, gird your loins and light your lamps and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself, have the servants recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. One of the fears that we all might have had in life and still have is that of being prepared. Prepared for whatever might happen today or tomorrow or beyond. Sometimes, of course, we can't be prepared for things that happen to us, and we all know that. For example, who's prepared to accept loss or changes to life in things like health or mobility or energy, changes that come with age or other circumstances? I'm sure you know what I mean. And with those things that happen, those losses and changes, being prepared to sometimes accept how different life can become. Either way, prepared or not, living one day at a time, trying to appreciate every day, Jesus encourages us to keep on working as we have done in our lives to be prepared, not only for heaven, but also for whatever unexpected things might come that will test our faith and our souls. And the key to that preparation that Jesus speaks of is the practice of not only maintaining our faith, but working to make it stronger. How do we do that? You may have the answer to that, but how we maintain our faith and make it stronger is to look at the faith of Abraham and Sarah from the second reading, the faith of our parents and grandparents, the faith of family members and friends and our faith as well and how we make it strong. And how we do that happens through three simple practices, prayer, gratitude, and service. Service through the kindness and support we can still give to others. So what I'm saying, and many of you probably know this, is that we have to keep on working on our faith. 
to make it strong and to grow in faith so that we can face the unexpected and be prepared. So again, we do that through talking to God, through being faithful, and also doing whatever we can for others. These things makes us the blessed servants who are always prepared for the Lord. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confident faith, we now place our needs before our loving Father. For our church, that we may share with the world the treasure of our faith in God's providence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations, that they may make of this earth a homeland of peace and justice for all races and peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for missionaries and for those who have given their lives in service to the gospel, that they be richly rewarded, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work tirelessly to bring this televised mass to God's people, that God bless them for their service to the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the suffering, and the dying, that Christ will be with them in their most painful moments, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful who have died, that they dwell forever in the house of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. From age to age, O oh God, you show your love for us. Hear the prayers that we offer you this day. Give your grace to recognize your presence in all things. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord, amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered by the power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned us for a remedy out of our mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through your son, Jesus. Through him, all the angels and saints praise you and we join in one chorus of praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant that will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Gathering all of our needs and prayers, we now pray in the words that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your, to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Please offer each other some sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.